they appeared a week ago, wearing hideous masks. In the day or night they would come, pointing to their next intended victim. Within seconds, the poor soul who'd been chosen would succumb to death. There was five of them, three being women of unknown ages, a man who stood about six feet tall, and a little boy who would giggle under his creepy clown mask. Mr. Butcher who lived five miles from the town, had heard the stories, at first with disbelief. Every night before going to bed, he would peer out of the front window, and on a faraway road, they would stand. Every time he observed them, utter fear was felt, knowing any member of his family could die at their murderous hands. Mr. Butcher had been told from petrified locals, that the demons had the ability to appear anywhere, at any time. So far they'd taken three victims. The first was an old man while he sat in his living room, watching TV with his family. The second victim was a lad of eleven while he ate his lunch at school. The third being a healthy young woman, while she attended the local gym. Every case was the same, they would appear instantly, pointing their devilish fingers at the person they'd chosen, then would vanish in a flash, leaving chaos in their wake. On this night Mr. Butcher noticed with terror that, the five devils hadn't disappeared yet, as they normally would at this hour. It was always the same time every night it seemed. Why this was, was unknown and rather unnerving if the truth be told. In the bedroom just down the hall, he heard one of his children yawning. At that moment the figures in front vanished. A wind from outside blew a waist bend to the ground, as it made a loud bang. Mr. Butcher carried on observing the road in front, just to be sure they'd gone. A short distance behind him five masked beings made their way to the last bedroom on the left, where Mr. Butcher's youngest child slept. Mr. Butcher drew the curtains, then made his way to the main bedroom. Thankful that his family for another night were safe from the devilish clutches of the beasts, if only he knew.